So, just when you thought Arsenal versus West Ham about a week or so ago was boring, we went and topped it again tonight. Fucking hell. I was nearly asleep in that first half. Second half was a little bit better, but it's a myth we play good football. Seriously, that was so boring. It was unbelievable. But the job was done and we have qualified for the semi-final of the Carabao, 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 whatever the fuck it's called, Cup. Um, yeah, we're in the semi. Um, Danny Welbeck scored, as I predicted in the preview. Um, scrappiest goal you'll ever see. But most of Danny Welbeck's goals are scrappy goals and he nearly misses the target on nearly every single one of them. So, yeah, that weren't really a shock that he nearly um, nearly didn't score. But we rolled on. Um, I'm currently watching the Leicester City versus Man City game. And Vardy scored in the 95th minute on that one. And Leicester are now all over him in extra time. So, Man City need to up their game or they're going out. I really want to win this competition, as I said in my preview. And we're three games away from winning it. Now, on to the performances tonight. Nobody really covered themselves in massive glory. Um, both teams just sort of sat back. I mean, we played Coquelin, Elneny and Willock as a midfield three. What the fuck is that all about? We're at home in a quarter-final. You know, I'm not going to moan because we got the job done, but... Why are we playing that midfield three? Don't really understand. I thought Debucci done well. He set up the goal. Um, the defence in general did well. But then again, they never really had anything to deal with. Um, West Ham just couldn't be asked by the looks of it. Didn't want to go forward. Um, and showed no intent whatsoever to try and score a goal. Even when we scored, they still didn't bother. Um, going forward, Theo Walcott. I'm going to come on to him now. That guy has been nicking a living for years. He is finished. That chance he had in that first half where he did some stupid diving header. He had all the time in the world. All he had to do was take it down and place it in the bottom corner. Instead, he decides to do some weird header that went five yards wide. Get out. Hopefully, he's not got many more games left to play and we flog him in January. For anyone who's stupid enough to come and stump up a transfer fee for him. But all in all, I am happy. We roll on to Liverpool on Friday. Um, looking forward to that one. A little bit shocked that Kalasanak started tonight. Um, that sort of tells me that he ain't starting against Liverpool. And if we play Maitland-Niles there, as much as I rate this kid, I think that's a game too big for him to be starting. Um, we've seen over the years Iwobi get absolutely destroyed against Bayern Munich. Um, this could be another scenario. He'll be up against either Salah or Mane. Um, so yeah, I don't really want to see that kid's confidence destroyed. He's been playing really well of late. So anyway, we move on. My preview for the Liverpool game will be out tomorrow. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. Absolutely smash the fuck out the like button and leave your comments down below. Before I go, my Twitter's Lee Gunner 82 as is my Instagram. You can follow me there. I'm out of here. Laters, peeps.